Today's video is from Kemmerie National Park, this lovely lake on a beautiful sunny autumn day in October. And the question for today is, why is aging depressing? Not depressing for everyone, but it's depressing for a lot of people. It's a problem that a lot of folks will have or have now. Aging can feel depressing for many people, especially if they've invested their happiness in how their body looks and works or what their relationships are like. If they've been dependent on their job or their sense of self-worth or certain, certain skills that may decline as they get older, they can become depressed with age. Of course, I've seen people even in their 30s become depressed about aging. So chronological age isn't itself necessarily the primary factor in depression doing, due to aging. Anyone who depends on changeable outside factors for their happiness, self-esteem, or value is going to be susceptible to disappointment, sadness, or depression. Anyone who depends on being healthy for their happiness and self-worth is potentially setting themselves up for depression. That's why I so strongly recommend that people learn to be truly self-aware. Those who are truly self-aware realize that no outside influence, age, health issue, or loss can change who they really are. Those who are really self-aware know their own value, their strengths, their purposes, and they know that none of those attributes change with age. Those who are self-aware know who they really are regardless of circumstances. It's also very important that we stay physically, emotionally, and intellectually active, interested, interesting, following our dreams, learning something new every day, engaging with life, giving to others, being of value, and being authentically ourselves. This will prevent falling into that spiraling darkness of depression. Most of those who are older still feel a younger self within them. Yes, there may be certain physical limitations that come with age, but a creative person can still authentically live that younger self every day. Find out who you really are. Feel that authentic self. Keep being that authentic self every day and age will become irrelevant. I've posted a number of practices for discovering and living your authentic self at www.lifesanswers.org. You can work with these. I'm sure they will be helpful for you if you decide to make self-discovery a priority in your life. And being self-aware does require that you make it a very, very high priority in your life and living it. So until next time, I look forward to hearing from you. If you need support in this, just let me know. Contact me through the lifesanswers.org website and note that everything is possible for you. Take good care. I'll look forward to talking with you soon. Bye for now.